Hello! So in this video I want to give a preview on the Hamburg Marathon, looking at the course now as it's one week prior to the marathon on the weather forecast. Based on that, what equipment and clothing I will choose, the nutrition strategy I was thinking about. So I would say let's go! I would say it's basically a sightseeing tour through and around Hamburg. It's elevation wise like 200, 250 meters of elevation change, which is not a marathon with the least elevation, such as for example Berlin or Frankfurt, but still it's like pretty good, I would say, with regards to elevation. The marathon, the current marathon course record is with two hours, I think four minutes and 37 seconds. That also shows how flat it is, because compared to Berlin 2022, where the marathon world record was set with two hours, one minute, and I think nine or 10 seconds. Additionally, it is a spring marathon, which was also a reason choosing Hamburg. The reason for that is normally in winter, it's just more time to make a steady training, because in summer, for example, as vacation, then it's nice to, for example, travel somewhere. So it's really like very good to train in winter and then execute like the first bigger event in spring. And I would also like to really see and test a bit my form with this race now. Also one interesting thing is the, is, um, the shortest way is indicated and marked on the street, which is with a blue line. That's why very often online you also see the hashtag run the blue line for like the Hamburg Marathon. With regards to a nutrition station, it's actually very impressive because there are a lot of nutrition station. It's like it starts at kilometer five already with some water. And then it's basically every two and a half kilometer something. So either a water electrolyte or then a nutrition station where you have bananas and I think at around kilometer 20 it starts already there are gels and then coca-cola is coming in and there's even at kilometer 30 i saw uh, massages so if you have any cramps or emergency cases i think then you can go there for massages i was actually very impressed that every 2.5 kilometer there is something which is basically every 10 minutes there is something you can charge up another fact i saw is that the gels which they use is from a company called high five I personally did not test them, maybe I should have actually, but I didn't. I will use actually mountain gels, which brings me to the next topic, generally my nutrition. So I was thinking to have something between 60 and 90 gram of carbon hydrates per hour, which is quite a wide range and I also want to stay on the upper range, but I would still say maybe it's not possible that after two, two and a half hours to really get these 90 grams per hour in. So then at least would like to have 60 grams per hour. I will use poorly Mountain Chill 100, which has 25 grams per package of carbon hydrates. So that would require seven to eight gels approximately. I think that I will have all together seven gels with me. And then if it comes hard to hard, then I would need to take a gel, which I did not try from the nutrition station. Yeah, generally I have breakfast like two hours before. So seven, 7.30, because 9.30 is dark. Then some small snack before, like 20 minutes, half an hour before a banana. And then I will start off with every 20 to 30 minutes a uh, mountain gel. Additionally, of course there's some water or electrolyte drink I will take from the nutrition station starting I would say at kilometer 15 and if possible as early as possible. Additionally now thinking that I'm equipped with seven to eight gels was one question where I actually put all this stuff as equipment wise I'm thinking to have shorts because that's the one I'm pretty used to and the weather should also look pretty okay for that so I will wear shorts from Fusion these are basically tights and they have like pockets around the wrist and also pockets on the on the leg part. So that should also be okay with having then five gels all together or six in there. And one I will also have already in the hand when I start because I will just use that anyway after 20, 30 minutes already. I think I will wear an undershirt, so a base layer, on top then just a t-shirt. On the arms I think about sleeves, like I have it for cycling because it's very easy to just take them off and just wear it around the wrist. Then I will wear a sweatband on the head and then just socks from In Silence because I have a very good experience with them. And then as already mentioned in the previous video, the shoes will be then the Nike 
think they are called Nike Zoom X Next Percent Alpha Fly 2. Looking at the weather is actually already a very promising outlook because temperature is like around here, so 9 degrees. It should also become warmer later on the day, but I would say I think finishing at 12.30 or so should be the target time if I want to finish around the three hour mark, which I mentioned already. So until then, I think we will run with something around yeah, nine degrees, hopefully a little bit cooler. There is also like not too much wind as we can see here. And that should be a very good weather actually. And I really look forward to that now because that was quite a worry if it's suddenly like rainy or so. But also looking back in the different weather conditions the Hamburg Marathon had, now it looks really like to be like the average weather as I could find, which is, which is very good. So I look forward to that. If you have any other further comments or something where I think I forgot, then just please let me know. I would be super happy because yeah, as mentioned, it's like my first marathon. Thank you.